The inspiration for the Voyager XL first and foremost came out of the desire to celebrate the 40th anniversary of the Mini Moog. The Voyager is a direct legacy of the Mini Moog. It was Bob's updated Mini Moog. We wanted to create an instrument that really built upon the Voyager just like the, the Voyager built upon the Minimoog and extended the Minimoog's capability, we wanted to broaden it even further. Larger keyboard, ribbon controller. We really wanted to celebrate this larger legacy of Bob, dating back to the modulars. The control voltage is one of the most basic principles of our synthesizers. We really want to encourage people to use and experiment with the control voltages. Having the panel right here so accessible really allows you to do that very quickly and spontaneously and use a lot of features about the Voyager which are typically not used. The other aspect of it is we really wanted to encourage people to extend their sonic capabilities by connecting to the Moog forwards, which are really like little modular systems in and of themselves. So having all the classic components of a modular system, you see the output from your instrument, molts so that you can route things to different sources, CV inputs, attenuators and mixers and lag processors, and also adding a, a second LFO source that had good MIDI syncing capabilities. So now that you have more than one LFO modulation, just the whole thing kind of blows open what you can do on the instrument. Yeah. 